and gentlemen we are about to do this one more time i actually am excited for the cyberpunk this is a real question right will this carry us till gta 6 trailer i'm not gonna say till gta 6 i'm just gonna say till the trailer release bruh you be the judge like this video subscribe if you're brand new recently you guys have been absolutely killing it thank you all for that and let's check out the cyberpunk 2077 dlc time because starfield just came out right and now we are on to cyberpunk the cyberpunk 2077 phantom liberty will release less than 50 days to go this Dang. upcoming expansion will be a spy thriller putting our v in the combat zone of pacifica dogtown specifically is the name of the region it looks exciting it looks like it's going to be very different than the base game story, but it's not just that this is going to introduce new story missions, quests, side quests, gigs, and new gameplay. I'm primarily excited for the story. The story, I guess, collectively, we can agree, it's pretty decent, right? The, especially the atmosphere and the music, 10 out of 10 for me personally. And Cyberpunk, as the idea alone for Cyberpunk was, is a banger, right? Like, we all love the idea, we all, they, they finesse us in the beginning. They, they they caught us with <laughs> with our pants down, but then they hit us up with a bumble, bumble clutch at launch back in I believe 2020 or 2021. I could be wrong. Like holy, it's been years since this game came out. They fixed a lot of the, uh, the the things with it, a lot of their mistakes with it, but we're still seeing the cops spawn out of NPCs butthole, bro. They said they're gonna fix it. We saw that in the trailer, but it's still not a hundred percent convincing though. I think it's safe to say the story is gonna be good. But the cop system might not be, or maybe I would be proven wrong. wrong. And I hope I am. Let's hear him up. Play activities for RV to take on. It's also going to be Cyberpunk 2077 2.0. This has been a secretive update of sorts, but this is going to be a massive reboot of the base game experience. Cap or no cap, cap or no cap. That's why I've said in the past that it's best to wait for a new playthrough of the game until Phantom Liberty comes about because the game is going to be rebuilding perks, skill trees, vehicle combat, cyberware, AI, police, and much more. As one of the lead developers on the project, Pavel Sasko, said in an interview, virtually no system of the original game has been left untouched. We also saw in other interviews CD Projekt Red developers acknowledge- You wanna know what is not also left untouched? I don't know, man. I don't think you wanna know. Yeah. Oh, let me actually. Okay, so that's my man, Holy. I'm just trying to find Philly. Acknowledging that this is how they wish they had launched the game. <laughs> Regardless, it has been a long road to this point, and recently Cyberpunk 2077 Steam reviews went from a mixed perception to very positive, and I think it's now standing at 90% positive reviews. It's been Dang. a drastic change in terms of how people view this game, and I yeah. think a lot of that yeah. has to- I, I remember when the reviews were mostly negative, you know, 0 out of 10, 1 out of 10, 2 out of 10, to not mostly positive, and that is absolutely insanity. I don't think- uh, I believe there was one other game that we seen, but I don't remember the name. It's not just coming up right now, but Cyberpunk definitely did a 180 though. Was it No Man's Sky? I, I think so. I, I know No Man's Sky got a massive update and Sucker started liking it, but, but but I'm not sure if it started getting like mostly positive reviews where gamers started showing love, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't know about that. To do with the amazing modding community and also the fact that CD Projekt Red has stuck with this game. They've listened to the community, they have supported the community, yeah. and they've drastically improved Cyberpunk 2077. I, I love that. I respect that they, they, that they did not abandon completely on the game, but I do agree with my fellow stud muffins with my toxic gamers out there the game should have launched uh it should have been launching finish right it should have launched finish it did not but at least they did not uh abandon i i hate the word at least though but in this situation what else you're gonna do <laughs> Bruh. At least I gotta say at least guys like you know, I hope this carries us till GTA 6 trailer over the last two and a half years now of course there have been quite a few bumps in the road uh, CD Projekt Red have been the victims of well they've been hacked and a lot yeah. of Phantom Liberty actually was leaked online last year now Dang. Cyberpunk 2077 has been wait they got hacked a game oh shit oh. I remember they did get hacked their stock plummeted playstation removed cyberpunk from their store right xbox was issuing refunds as well you know during launch they were hacked people were making meme like uh you know cyberpunk anti-wirish uh people were making memes and jokes with that their stock plummeted yeah there was a whole lot of crap that went down some of their uh, higher up employees they quit they peaced out so they did get hacked again that's crazy been brought back into the spotlight in terms of its launch in which an executive said that it became cool to dislike it i actually 
actually believe Cyberpunk on launch was way better than it was received. And, and yeah, that, that sucker also, it's, it's truly insane. And we covered this story not long ago. Emergency meeting immediately. Because that sucker actually started blaming the fans. He started pointing his finger. He started, it, it, it was you. It was your fault. It was cool to hit on Cyberpunk. Bro, Bruh. you guys done so much to garner good feedback and you got good feedback you got mostly positive reviews why even bother coming out with a statement like that and that had a ton of people man and people were absolutely cooking them over on twitter because they started saying that it was just cool to hate on the game right even at launch bruh I get it, and to a certain degree though, it was cool, but it was only cool because the, you guys messed up so bad at launch though. The game was a absolutely terrible, it was horrendous at launch. This is why it became cool to hit it. I'm not talking about PC Master Race, I'm not talking about PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X, I'm talking about the last one version, that's where majority of the gamers were, but even on PS5, Xbox, and PC, the game was not complete at launch. Even to this day, it is not 100% complete, but it's on a very very good track and gamers appreciate the fact that they did not abandon that's where we at right now you this know? was a remark that was made recently by an executive and just something that didn't need to be said because yeah. all it did was fuel the negativity surrounding this game. game and how it launched we also had people accusing cdpr of trying to rewrite history so i just feel like it's better to concentrate on the state of the game now how it has like for example this is the uh, this is the current version of the game right look at how empty that is just one sucker walking around he's probably gonna get hit in the pole right there <laughs> no cars literally no cars you see no cars there's one at a distance but you know what i mean like damn bro this is a night city dog there needs to be a lot more evolved and how there are exciting things on the horizon and right now we are learning much more about phantom liberty and the upcoming 2.0 update which again are two separate things but probably going to be releasing right around the same time one of course is paid which is phantom liberty the 2.0 update will be free now through cd hang project on, red's on. official channels we haven't seen too much of new information that may change with gamescom which is just about to happen it's right around the corner yeah they, they uh, gamescom happened and we did see their trailer. maybe there's some new gameplay shown there yeah. but but on the official Twitter account for Cyberpunk 2077, we did see a tease of a very interesting location, which may have some gameplay choice and consequence for us. Scraps from the past, wondering why this pile of Aerozep scraps squatting right in the stadium stomach ain't been junked for parts yet? Well, it's a vital part of Kurt's Wonderland. The nuclear heart nestled inside feeds Dogtown's folks with juice, no bills attached, toss in water, a roof overhead, all for zip. You begin to grasp the siren song of Hansen's utopia. Uh, okay, I got none of that, bro. Like, okay, well, yeah, I, okay, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Scraps from the piece. Dog, uh, can a brother just perhaps get the cough system to work in the game so I so I don't see the cough spawning out of NPC's butthole or something? Like, bruh. Like, come on, man. Like, damn, bro. Like, can I see more cars? Can I see good cars? Because, no, the cars are actually good, but the driving is doo-doo. It's hot caca, bro. We need, like, it. They, these suckers gotta work on that, bro. And this nuclear heart has a lot of people thinking that this could work similar to maybe Fallout 3's Megaton. Obviously, this oh, seems damn. to be a little bit different as this is maybe fueling the power and everything for this little region of Dogtown. And it seems to be a key component of Kurt Hansen's uh, iron grasp over the people of this region. So maybe we'll have some choice and consequence. We could ignite or blow this on up. Uh, Bargus Militia would go to pieces and maybe the people of this region. But I oh, just damn. love the fact that this... Yo, it would be insane if you can drop like a sar bomba you know can a brother perhaps drop a sar bomba could be a possibility for rv some uh, evil i guess you could say now another new location that was unveiled just the other day by cd project red is paradise lost folks call it dogtown these days but once upon a time it was slate it's more like lost paradise you know like paradise lost i mean cyberpunk lost let's just say Folks call it do a dog town these days, but once upon a time it was slated. Okay, he's gonna read it. It'd be a high rolling resort brimming with luxury spas, ritzy casinos, and grand hotels. Then along came the NUSA's unification war, wrapped hard on Night City's doorsteps, spooked the big money boys. They all pulled their eddies, ran for the hills, left the dream gathering. 
dust. And as you can see in this screenshot, we get a look at some of the abandoned luxury locations. The most definitely yeah. will be this is Cyberpunk, and they did abandon at launch, but now they came back. They came back for the DLC. Either occupied by Bargus's militia, or maybe other various gangs that we find in Pacific. Or I should not say abandon the game. They abandon like the car, the cop system, the, the the cars on the road. Because if you remember the original man. If you remember the original demo they shared, I even remember Young, yeah, I believe it was back in 2019 or 2017. I believe it was around the E3 time. YouTubers got to see exclusive and early access. I believe it was in 2018. YouTubers got to see, they talked about seeing it behind closed doors and all of them were shaking. All of them were mind blown. They were like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm shaking. Oh, I'm, I'm shaking. shaking. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was, that was literally Young. Yeah, I remember his initial interview and then I believe in, at E3 2019, they revealed that to the public. You know, the actual demo that the YouTubers got to see a year uh, a year back in 2018. I could be wrong about the timing here, but I think 2019 E3 is when they officially reveal that Cyberpunk first gameplay demo. We saw so many NPCs, so many cars, and then when the game came out, after the game came out, guess what? We did hear that was a render scene. It was a render CGI scene. Bruh. So they inflated, they purposely, you know how you would like try to put air in the Doritos bags and the chips bag? <laughs> Bruh. To make a customer feel like that there's a lot of chips in that. There's a lot of content. Buy it for a small price of 4 99 And you open up the bag and you're like, Bruh. Bruh. You know, half of, more than half of it is just air. They simply just inflated the air. They just simply put the air into the content, okay? Just like how we, we, we are hearing about the Logan Paul, Nina, wife situation, right? You know, he, uh, De uh, what, what's that sucker's name? What's that? You know, the, the guy, Dylan Dennis. Yeah, Dylan Dennis. Just like how Dylan Dennis is sharing pictures. Some of them are real. Some of them are not so much. So he's like mixing water in the milk. That's essentially what it what it is. Simple as that like the voodoo boys. I can only imagine that RV will be having a lot of gunfights in structures like this. Now, while we haven't really seen a lot of new information directly coming from CD Projekt Red, they have recently been doing a lot of different gameplay events for Phantom Liberty all across the world. And that is where we're getting tons of new information from the gamers that got access to about an hour or so of Phantom Liberty. They were able to freely explore the open world, and a lot of them have detailed their experiences and a lot of the big gameplay changes. All I gotta say here is that guys, don't trust me. Don't trust, no cap, no cap, don't trust, okay? Always, always question their credibility, question, and if you question, they're gonna label you as a toxic gamer, but you must get that label because otherwise there is no hope. If you do not question, they're gonna give you... <laughs> Cannot say that word on YouTube, so I had to blur it and new gameplay features that have been introduced that we'll finally get access to in just a couple of weeks. But more specifically, these impressions are a part of the Phantom Liberty tour in which CD Projekt Red visited eight different cities from Warsaw, no. Tokyo, Beijing, Sao Paulo, Paris, London, and they get- Dog, y'all be going places like that. Can a brother just simply get two pennies or something like that, bro? Like, in tour. Man, the flight tickets are very, very expensive. Why are you guys like going to Warsaw, Kolon, Tokyo? Just stream it, dog. Just stream it. Just stream it. Simple as that, bro. Save money, live better. You know what I'm saying? Like, use that Walmart. Use that Walmart. You gotta be like Walmart, man. Gave gamers the opportunity to play Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty, and I think also the update 2.0 is included within that. And we did see some users composing all of the new information that we have learned. A big shout out first to Reddit user Parker P11 for combining a lot of this, but here are some of the new details that we have learned. In okay. addition to Dogtown, there is a new available area near the Orbital Air Space Center. New roads in the Badlands have also been spotted as well as new things all around Night City. This is actually one of those exciting things that I don't know if it's necessarily just associated with Phantom Liberty or if this is the you know the 2.0 update which is free but it does seem like okay, I could be wrong and this is something that I don't know is it that uh, you, you know there was like a uh, area in cyberpunk that is under construction I don't remember the the area name anymore 
Uh, is it is this Pacific DLC gonna just update that and we're gonna have that you know whole area be constructed and this is where the story is gonna take place or this is gonna be like a, a new expansion map where we're gonna see like an extra map added on the menu uh, when we go when we access the menu when we go in the map like is it is it gonna be an extra map that that I'm not sure like we're going to be getting some new locations not necessarily just yeah. within this new region of dogtown but oh, all dang. across night well, city i've talked to well there we go there we Bumble go guy. i guess we got the answer right the there. past maybe we'll see the casino introduced but uh yeah it does seem rather interesting that there's going to be some location around that space center that we'll now be able to access very curious Yo. with how that works maybe Yo, i truly hope they had the, the flying cars they already have it on the map they have it in the game suckers even modded that and we see that on the map, they are flying around. And then since Night City, it's 2077. Let us fly the cars, man. Like if you agree, like if you agree. This involves one of the endings because there is a new ending associated with Phantom okay. Liberty. Now, after For installing it? new cyberware, when you exit the Ripper Dock menu, you see an animation of V getting up from the chair, all in pain and stuff like that. Very cool that we're getting some new uh, gameplay uh, animations for stuff like that. There is no new Samurai songs, a little disappointing. Aww. There is no new option in the character creator and the oh. level cap has actually been increased to 70 vehicle ah. uh. combat is also available from a third person perspective although at the moment we only know about such a possibility in the case of fighting with a katana on a motorbike and it has been said do not expect new cutscenes with current love interest but rather small references similar to blood and wine possibly just some text messages and this was kind of my concern and fear we saw in previous interviews at cd project red yeah. Said there was some new romance stuff, but it wasn't major. And this was my suspicion that yeah, it was probably just guys. Don't just a pom pom, man. The the pom pom will blind you to the bum Bumbaka. Maybe some new dialogue options, and that's appear that appears to be what this exactly is. And yeah, that is unfortunate because the character relationships, the quest lines associated with Judy. Yeah! <laughs> Yo, look at that water, bro. Yo, that water is straight. That's what I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, like, like, come on, man. Why is the water so calm? Right? Like, there's literal zero texture right here, dog. The water should be like, you know, sprinkles, maybe like some waves ups and down like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like that, like that, like that. Dog, like, come on, man. Damn. There's need to be some texture. Like, the mountain ain't that curvy either, though. Damn, son. Damn. The River, Pan Am, and Kerry, they were phenomenally well done. I was gushing about them at launch, and even to this day, I think that they are some of the best storylines in gaming. Very emotional, I was very yeah. attached to Pan Am specifically, and not seeing more of that is, Yo, it's... it's re recently, I found out that he's a father, and he got like two, three kids, or maybe like a triplet on the, on the, on the way up, or coming up. Oh, shit. Oh, bro, shit. you say that, I'm gonna leave that recording. I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna send it to your spouse, bro. Like, you be talking a whole lot of that. Okay? That's cheating. I declare, as a brown man, if you simp over a chick in a video game, that's cheating. Okay, let's let's make that happen. Bruh. New law, new law. I'll be passing a new law, a new law. It's disappointing, but uh, maybe not too surprising because the events of Phantom Liberty kind of happened concurrent Yo. to the events of the base game, so there could have been difficulty with adding new content for them, but I definitely hope that we see these characters in future games. Maybe that is the plan. Maybe we see V in future games. It really is unclear what the future of Cyberpunk is beyond Phantom Liberty. And v must stay focused, brothers. Lord, we have must. mercy. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. We should absolutely stay focused, brother. In terms of narrative, because yes, we know a new game is in development, and it's probably going to be happening. Man, sometimes the sunlight, bro. In the next couple of years. But if there is a sign of hope, it is worth mentioning again that there is a new ending associated with Phantom Liberty. Maybe that is a happy send off for V and our love interest. Now, Yo, if that is true, though, that's going to make suckers replay the entire game. And, you know, with that 2.0 update, I never really finished the game. You know, I played, I remember playing half of the game at launch, but the, and on PS5, the game got so buggy that I was so invested in the story. I was like, I got to find out. I got to find out. I had so many bugs, but I was like, okay, you know what? It's just another bug. Like, whatever. Like, I'm going to go through it. But then the game halfway in, the game completely broke down, and I just had enough, okay? I'm a pretty easygoing guy, okay? 1080, 60 FPS. That's all what I need, okay? I don't need 4K. I don't need 120 FPS. So my 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 dopamine receptors, they blew the F up. I was like, okay, that's it. And I started watching the entire cutscene on YouTube, and I remember that. So maybe with the 2.0 update and with this DLC, I might actually re 
replay the the entire game this moving along driving the car almost the same as in the base game so it doesn't appear that there's too many new driving mechanics which i, I don't think was necessary there is a yeah. new phone interface which is gladly appreciated i didn't really like the interface that was there in the base game now divided into three categories recent contacts messages and contacts which are sorted alphabetically yeah before it was very messy to go through a lot of that the ui definitely needed some upgrades and it yeah. seems like cdpr has given them uh, they yeah, haven't I, I do like that starfield ui kind of from what we've seen so far it's very very clean and i dig the 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 clean look and guys we had this toxic gamer went absolutely nuclear at the starfield reviews click on this video or he gave his review right absolutely wild it's funny it's hilarious you know toxic gamer what can i you know what I'm saying? click on this video on the screen you're gonna love it and i will see you there